If police officers are stuck waiting around a booking facility, they're using up what time they could have spent taking calls. That was one concern holding San Antonio police back from using a new Bear County jail facility. So today, after months of back and forth, they committed to using it, even though, as Eyewitness News reporter Erica Zucco explains, there's some work to do first. The biggest concern was making sure that the time officers spend in this building doesn't take away from the time they can spend on the streets. Bear County opened this new intake center in December to offer better conditions for people who are arrested and to streamline how the county and surrounding municipalities book inmates. But San Antonio's police chief had some concerns. Processing time for the officer, uh, it's space, it's property, it's class C's. Today, though, city and county leaders came together to say they're working things out. There's been an open question hanging in the air for, for many, many months, which is will the city and the county figure it out and jointly operate uh, this intake facility uh, with all the moving parts from magistration to booking? And the answer from you, you, that you're getting today is unequivocally yes. They still need to nail down details. The mayor expects they'll get an agreement squared away by the end of spring. We have to build a, a, a facility from scratch to accommodate their property and make sure that they're getting in and back out and back out onto the streets where they belong as efficiently as possible. Uh, that's what we need to do. They're still working out what exactly to do and who would pay for it. I think the police <laughs> chief has agreed to pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> well... Not to contradict the judge, but the police chief has not agreed to pay for that. <laughs> the city says it hopes to start booking inmates there by the end of the year, but won't do so until it's sure it won't chip away at public safety. Because the way we are doing business right now is efficient, it's effective, it gets police officers back on the street as quickly as possible. Eric Zucco, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.